What's going on guys, my name's Theoatrix and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the full Clue Hunter outfit. This whole outfit is a part of the Clue Hunter activity or also known as Crack the Clue. And basically what it can be used for, firstly it looks really really cool, but it can be used for uh, warm clothing at the Winter Todd. Uh, it actually counts, every single piece counts as a piece of warm clothing so you take a bit less damage. And also it actually gives the exact same stats as leather. You can see here that my stats don't change when I put on the leather and they do give a range bonus. I think the body and the legs do. I originally made this video a couple of days ago, but now that the helm's been discovered, I'm going to show you how to get the helmet as well. So to get the helmet, you need to go to the monastery in Ardoyan and you need to have a nature rune, a leather boots, and a one dose super anti-poison in your event. You can go to the Castle Wars, uh, a little bit north of Castle Wars, there's a spawn for a super anti-poison one, so you can take that if you're an Iron Man. Then you need to go to these iron rocks and you need to stand north of this exact rock and you simply just have to dig with these three items in your inventory and you will get the Helm of Raidwald. Probably add here that these outfits are completely free to get. You don't need to have the clues, you just need a spade with you and on the topic of what you need with you, this is what I would take with you to go get the whole outfit. You need a teleport to house and make sure that your house is in the Great Current. Otherwise, you're going to have to walk to Zaya to the spot that's in Zaya. And then you also need an Ardoyan teleport, a Taibua One-Eye teleport, and a Ring of Dueling. Or you can also take the teleport, which takes you to Nightmare Zone. And that one's a little bit closer. I take a Stamina Potion for a little bit of run. And if you're a low level, maybe take a bit of food because there are some monsters along the way. In order to move your house to the Great Karen, you need to have at least level 30 construction and you also need to go speak to the guy that's in the Karen. There's a guy near the woodcutting guild that is a house agent and you need to speak to him first, but then once you speak to him, you can change your house at any house agent. So it costs 8.7k, I think it is, to move to Karen. Perfect. All right, now it's time to show you guys where you can get each of the pieces. I'm going to start off with the gloves and the boots. They are both in the same dig spot, actually. You get them at the same time. To get the gloves and boots, you're going to want to make your way to the fishing guild area. You can use a skills necklace to teleport to the fishing guild. I'm just using an Ardoyan teleport because it's a little bit easier. And then you need to run all the way up here to this tree one of these trees around here, I'll show you in a second, but you need to go a bit south of the fishing guild. Now, this is the exact location you need to stand to get the gloves and the boots. This is the oak tree just south of these barricades here. Um, and on this exact spot next to this oak tree, you just dig and you will get the gloves and the boots. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get the garb or the body. And to do this, you need to go to the Great Kurand. I'm just going to go to my house since it is very, very close to the house location. The location for this one is just near the mess hall here. You need to go about here. I'm going to walk there now. If you can't change your house to Kurand, you're going to have to take the boat from Port Sarum all the way here and walk there. It's not a big walk, but it is kind of far. All right, so this is the exact location for the body. I'll just show you exactly where I am on the map. You need to cross this bridge here and make your way right next to this tree here. You'll see that there's these patches on the ground. It's this one right here. Once you dig, you will get the body. Next, I'm going to show you how to get the legs. And this one is near Tabo one Eye. So use your Tabo one Eye teleport. If you can't use that, you're going to have to walk from Karumja to the exact spot I'm about to show. But from Tabo one Eye, you run directly north to the Harpy Bug Swarm area. Now, this is the main reason you needed food. These guys here are aggressive to low-level players, and they can hit pretty often because they do hit quite accurately. So once you make your way past this cliff place here, you want to stand directly north of these little rocks right here where I'm standing. And if you dig here, you will get the trousers. I'll just quickly show where I am on the map. Uh, if you want to take the boat from Karamjo, you'll have to run all the way around and get here. Not that hard to get to, but it is a little bit further than the other ones. Final piece of Clue Hunter is the cloak. And to get there, you can either use a Ring of Dueling and go to Castle Wars and run from there. But I'm going to use the Nightmare Zone Teleport. Not everyone's going to have the Nightmare Zone Teleport because you do need to complete some quests to use it. But since I have it, I'll show where to go from there. The location of the cloak is directly south of Yanel. It is right about here. I'll show you guys where that is. You just have to run around Yanel. And here we are. This is the exact location you need to stand on the east side of this willow tree on the daisies that are on the ground. 
If you dig here, you will receive the Clue Hunter cloak. As you guys can tell from the length of this video, it really is not that hard to get the full Clue Hunter outfit. It does look pretty sick though. There's like a wolf with the cloak. But anyway, guys, I hope that was pretty easy to follow. And now it's time for Clip of the Day. Today's Clip of the Day is from Pear Wildy, who managed to get the Wizard Boots and the Ranger Boots in the same medium treasure trail on his 16th one. That is unbelievably rare, man. He did say that this was quite a long time ago. It does say at the bottom 2015, but anyway, that is awesome, man. I'm not sure what the price of, of the Ranger Boots was back then, but still incredibly lucky, man. Congratulations. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to submit a clip of the day, the link is in the description to my website. It's very easy to submit one. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.